Uh, so, today I have to do a few things. And what I mean by a few, I mean one very simple thing. Um, and that's make a video for you guys. Um, so, I have to measure a few things, strain a few things, use cheesecloth for a few things. So, I'm just going to get started with that. Okay, you can't really see my face, but you're better off that way, so yeah. Um, first I didn't know how to use this scale. Oh! Okay, so I hit the button there, and then you measure... I don't know how to do this. This measures 2.6 ounces, and I have to measure 15 ounces of ricotta cheese. Um... No. Oh my gosh, this is so annoying. No, 12. Wait. I just got on the scale. I need to do 12.4 ounces. Okay. I don't really know. Let me call my phone. Hi, um... Um, I really don't know what I'm going to do today. I just have to film because I haven't in a while, so... Yeah. I guess I could show you my new clothes I just got. I might still be tilted. I don't really know. I'm not professional or anything. First, I got this shirt from Hollister. It's really basic, and like everyone's gonna have this. But there was a sale for it, and I was like, you know what? Probably gonna wear it, so. I'm probably gonna wish that I had it when everybody else is wearing it, so I was just like. I don't know. And then I got this skirt because I don't like skirts. They're just not my thing. I don't. Like, I don't like skirts, I don't like dresses. I like skirts because there are pants in the back. So it's shorts, but they look like a skirt. So they're super cool. Um, but yeah, this is how it looks. It looks ginormous, but it is kind of big on me. I would try this on, but again, I'm too lazy. And then I just got three pairs of jeans. I got two of the things that I just got from Urban Outfitters. Um, but I think my mom took them to iron them because I got them all wrinkly. It's just a black flannel. <laughs> a black flannel and a... These, like, jeans that are black and they have, like, a white outline. I don't know. I love them. I might find them just for you to see. But yeah, so here's one pair of jeans. Oh, by the way, that squirt was from Garage. And then these are from Garage. They're just, they're all mom games, by the way. Then I got this light pair from, where is this from? Oh, from Tilly's. And I love these because they have like the bottoms that are like this, and they're like big on me. Also, story time. Sorry. I went to Tilly's and I was shopping and Took out like five pairs of mom jeans to try on, and they all fit like kind of like weirdly like not tight, but like kind of you know like normal in the front, and then in the back there was just a hole like this, like there was just like that, like it was huge from the back, and I was like, okay, why is it like it that? And then I finally found one that wasn't like that. Thank God. But I found out I can't even fit into a five. 
Tilly's, but I'm like a five at Garage at Hollister. So I don't know. I'm a three at Tilly's, I guess. I've never tried on a pair of jeans that did that. So that's my story time. Last thing are these jeans from Hollister. See? Mom jeans again. I think I'm going to start only wearing mom jeans because I don't like tight jeans at all. Like, I don't like when they squeeze my fat thighs and fat stomach and fat everything. That's just not fun. So I hope you enjoyed that little haul. Just watch Stranger Things. Kind of think about a freaking gargoyle thingy mob shitter thing but it's so good and oh my god i want to spoil so many things i don't want to talk about so many things you know what i am okay so if you didn't watch stranger things you could skip to i don't know when just skip just don't even watch the video anymore just this is not interesting i don't even know if i'm gonna post this should i even post this video probably i really have to post but anyway oh my god Mike and Elle are the cutest freaking couple on earth. Like, they're so cute. And I went on my private story yesterday. I was like, oh, if a guy doesn't treat me how Mike does, I don't want it. Because he, like, just cares about her so much. And doesn't want anything to happen to her. And their relationship is literally the cutest thing on earth. Because she's like. Just like a different girl. And she's just not like the other. <laughs> she's just not like the other girls. <laughs> I feel like that sometimes. Like I kind of relate to that. Maybe I should turn this on. Wow. I'm just. In love. I just feel like I'm not alive sometimes. That's the weirdest thing. I don't understand myself. And I feel like no one else feels like that. Which scares me because I feel like I'm just not normal and like I I don't I don't know, I don't like the feeling. Oh yeah, also I quit editing out my cursing because <sighs> Not really concerned. If you don't he want to hear cursing, then don't watch my videos. I already have no one that watched my video. I'm probably going to cut all this out because I don't think you want to hear about my personal life. I don't think you really care. Oh my god, why is everything making a weird freaking noise? I really feel like ending it here, but I feel like I have to do something special. But, um, I don't have anything special to do. My life is so boring. My life just really isn't great. Um, but like I said, you don't want to hear about my life. So. I guess I should just do a room tour at this point. There's my door. And first thing is, um, I'm not gonna read that. There, but that's my little whiteboard thing. And on the back of my door, I have my Complio for gymnastics. This little bag I got from, actually my parents got for me, from Greece. For some reason, I have a chef hat here. And then I have like four belts that I just got. And then I have like a flat screen TV here, a Steelers hat, and a Yankee hat, which just fully doesn't go with the vibe of my room at all, but it's all right. Then I have this little arm war. <laughs> I don't even know, but for some reason my iPad's on here. This is like a little candle holder thing. This is my box. That Here's my tripod box. And then here's a bunch of my necklaces. And then here is one of my favorite things. It's basically a charging station for my AirPods, which are right here in this little... Sorry, I'm like at the worst angle here. 
like a little AirPods charger here. This thing is where my Apple Watch magnetizes to and sticks there. And then here's my phone charger and it all stands up. And then here's my computer charger and my computer's in my, clo my closet. So yeah, right next to the TV is my closet. Just so the clothes and shoes and stuff like that. Oh, here's my little marble trash can. Love that thing. And then my bed, which is right here, and has those clothes on it. And I have my little wall thing with my fairy lights. This thing that says Napping Beauty for some reason. And then this thing I want at Beam and Busters. It's just the light up. What are those things called? A light up. Dreamcatcher, I think that's what they're called. Um, but yeah, and then next to my bed, I have my little vanity table thing. I don't even know what it's called. Um, but it has two drawers. And then I have my giraffe stuffed animal that my friend just got me. And I'm obsessed with it. And he's so cute. And I sleep with him every single night. Yeah, again, I said, I'm obsessed with dress. I have a picture frame, water bottle, all my nasty retainers on top of one of my favorite candles that I got from Target. And then I have my chair, but it has a bunch of my pillows on it because my bed is not made. That's no surprise. And my little light. This has an air conditioning behind it, but it's old and does not work. And I just realized that I'm looking over here, but I probably should be looking there. Okay. And then, last thing. It is my floating shelves that has a sticky note on it for some reason and my vanity but yeah that's really it for my room oh and i have like a metal holder over there and i'm holding my masks on it right now let me go show you my ricotta cheese straining thing so basically this is what it looks like i have a piece of cheesecloth over a strainer and there's a bow under it and basically I have to wait like eight hours or like overnight for all the liquid to come out of their cottage cheese so I can make this cannoli cream that I'm making for a cake. Alright, learn how to turn on lights again. Before I leave you guys, I'm going to make one thing that I love eating and that is on butter toast. So I'm gonna make that right now. So I'm gonna tell you how to make the best almond butter toast out there. I'm using this type of bread. I'm not that hungry, so I'm just gonna do one slice of it. This one I got from Shoprite. I may or may have not burned it a lot. Okay, there's kind of too much on it, but still, it's the best. Now, don't put another piece of bread on top. I don't like the way that tastes at all. You're not going to like the way it tastes. Alright, we're going to go back to my room, and then I'll do the outro. Actually, no. Let me make another coffee. Okay, here's my perfect coffee recipe. Okay, first you fill up your Starbucks cup. A giant cup of coffee. Again, I just make a giant cup of coffee. So I love it. I just love it. Okay, so you fill up to the highest line with ice in this Starbucks cup. Now, I have curate, or I don't even know how to pronounce that. So you need to use these pod things. I don't care what pod you use. I like the Dunkin' ones the best, just because I feel like they're the best flavor. But right now we have these ones. Still tastes really good, so. You stick that in there. Put that under. You hit six ounces. You get your Khalifa's Farm Unsweetened Almond Milk. Um, and then you get your Nut Pod in whatever flavor you want. Caramel is my favorite, so I have caramel. Creamer. Again, this is also dairy-free. It's an almond and coconut creamer. Co uh, almond and coconut milk creamer. And then I use this zero-calorie 
caramel latte foam. Even though it's not going to look like that, I just mix it in because it's a good flavor and it's not any calories. I need three pumps of this salted caramel latte thing. You take it out. You fill it most of the way with this almond milk. Then you add your creamer. That's not very strong, so that's why I added a lot of it. And last, the three pumps of coffee latte thing. Then you stick your lid back on there. Oh my gosh. And you go like this. It tastes amazing. So I'm going to take my one piece of almond butter toast and my coffee and do the outro. All right, this is my new spot to do my outros because it has the best lighting out of my house. Hi, Chloe. You want to say hi to my dog? This is my older dog. And she's a girl. Her name is Chloe. And she just wants to eat my almond butter toast right now. Okay. That's today's video. Hope you enjoyed. Kind of a boring one, but it is what it is. I have to make videos, so I stay on track with what I want to do in my life and move forward. Make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on your post notifications. All my socials um, are in the outro, um, so you can go check those out. All of their links are on the top of each icon. So yeah, bye guys, love you.